subscribe to my channel press the bell icon and never miss a video from top hunter Hey friends, I am back with a new video. Many of you wanted to know about bikes that are equipped with dual channel ABS, and also under 2 lakh rupees price range. Here is our list of dual channel ABS bikes under 2 lakhs in India. The first bike in our list is Tuviz Apache RTR 180. Tuviz has launched the 2019 RTR 180 at a price of 95,392 rupees for the ABS variant. The 2019 iteration of TV's 180cc motorcycle features new paint options, including pearl white, gloss black, tea gray, matte blue, and matte red. It also gets a slightly refreshed instrument cluster, forged handlebar ends and a premium seat cover. The instrument panel gets an LCD display showing speedometer, odometer, two trip meters, clock, lap timer and fuel gauge, with a large analog tachometer. The Apache RTR 180 is powered by a 177.4 cc, single-cylinder, four-stroke engine that develops 17.5 PS of power and 15.5 newton meters of maximum torque. The 2019 TV's Apache RTR 180 is the most affordable motorcycle in India to offer dual-channel ABS as an option. This is the variant we'd suggest as it makes the motorcycle a lot more safer than the non-ABS one. Second bike in our list is Apache RTR 200. The Apache RTR 200 is a big step up from the Apache RTR 180. The Apache RTR 200 gets completely refreshed styling, though it does look like an evolution of the smaller Apache RTR range. The Apache RTR 200 is built around a double cradle chassis. At the heart of this chassis is a 198cc oil-cooled single-cylinder engine, with four valves. This engine is available with the option of either a carburetor or a fuel injection system. While the former produces 20.2 bhp and a peak torque of 18.1 newton meters, the fuel injected engine produces 0.5 bhp extra. Unlike other motorcycles at the price point, the ABS system on the RTR 200 is a dual channel one, which means it also acts on the rear wheel. Third bike in our list is Domine R400. Inspired by power cruisers like the Ducati Diavel, the Dominar 400 is Bajaj Auto's flagship product. The Dominar 400 was the first motorcycle to be sold in India with an LED headlamp. The sculpted fuel tank, stretched wheelbase and the dual digital consoles give it an aggressive look. It is powered by a 373cc liquid-cooled single-cylinder fuel-injected engine that delivers 34.5 bhp and 35 newton meters. It gets a 6-speed gearbox with a slipper clutch as standard. The Domin R400 rides on 17-inch alloy wheels with telescopic front forks and a rear monoshock. A single 320mm disc up front and a 230mm disc at the rear take care of braking. Dual-channel ABS is offered as an optional extra. Fourth bike in our list is Royal Enfield Thunderbird 350. Royal Enfield launched a facelifted version of the Thunderbird 350, featuring a teardrop-shaped fuel tank, digital instruments and fuel gauge and a projector headlamp. Additionally, the motorcycle gets an LED tail light and a few other cosmetic enhancements. The Thunderbird 350 uses a single-cylinder, four-stroke, Twins Park engine 19.8 bhp of power at 5,250 revolutions per minute, and, 28 newton meters of torque at 4,000 revolutions per minute. This air-cooled unit is mated to a 5-speed gearbox. It has recently been updated with the option of ABS for a very small premium over the standard model. Fifth bike in our list is Yamaha FZ25. Yamaha has finally felt that the time is right for FZ owners to upgrade to a motorcycle which retains all the core values of the FZ, good looks, good handling, good maintenance, and now with a dollop of performance. Mind you, if you're looking for thrills like the KTMs provide, you're in the wrong place. But if you want a quick commuter that is refined and can sit comfortably at 100 kmph all day long, look no further than the FZ25. It has been engineered to keep maintenance costs low, so quality might not be the best in class, but as an all-round package it is extremely difficult to fault it. Dual channel ABS is now an option worth 14,000 rupees, ex-showroom. 
The FZ25 is priced at 1.19 lakh rupees onward. The sixth bike is Yamaha YZFR15 version 3. The Yamaha R15 version 3.0 has been updated with dual channel ABS. The new variant is available in three colors, Racing Blue, Thunder Grey, and Dark Knight. Apart from a small ABS logo on the fairing, the ABS variant looks pretty much identical to the non-ABS model. Aside from the addition of dual channel ABS, there are no mechanical changes to the motorcycle. Though there are no direct competitors for the bike, alternatives include the Bajaj Pulsar RS200 and the KTM 125 Duke. Seventh bike in the list is Royal Enfield Himalayan. Royal Enfield has launched the Himalayan with dual channel ABS for 1.78 lakh rupees, which makes it 10,000 rupees dearer to the standard model. The Sleet Edition, is a camouflage painted variant, is priced at 1.80 lakh rupees. Apart from the this edition, the Himalayan has remained unchanged. As far as color options are considered, you can choose between snow white, granite black color for the standard variant. The Himalayan is powered by a 411cc, single cylinder, four stroke, air cooled, CHC, fuel injected engine, which churns a maximum power of 24.83 PS at 6,500 revolutions per minute and, a maximum torque of 32.00 Nm at 4,250 revolutions per minute, mated to a 5-speed gearbox. Eighth bike in our list is Royal Enfield Classic 500. The Classic 500 is powered by a 499cc single-cylinder twin spark engine, that produces 27.2 bhp at 5,250 revolutions per minute and, a maximum torque of 41.3 newton meters at 4,000 revolutions per minute. This engine is mated to a 5-speed gearbox that transfers power to the rear wheel via chain drive. It gets Keaton electronic fuel injection, helping the motorcycle deliver linear power and torque. It gets both an electric as well as a kickstart. A rear disc brake and ABS have recently been introduced to the range. Royal Enfield sells the Classic 500 in three colors tan, black and silver. It is priced at 1.85 lakh rupees. The ninth bike in our list is KTM 250 Duke. The KTM 250 Duke has been updated with dual channel ABS which can be switched off completely. Priced at 1.94 lakh rupees. The safety aid comes at a premium of 14,000 rupees. There are no mechanical changes reported on the motorcycle. The 250 Duke carries a similar design as the new 390 Duke but gets black wheels and black front frame. The headlamp is the same split one as the 390 Duke but misses out on LED technology and features a conventional halogen bulb instead. It also misses out on the color LCD screen and has an updated digital unit. The bike has a 248.8cc liquid-cooled motor that makes 30 PS, 5 PS more than the 200 Duke. It gets a slipper clutch. The 250 Duke will sit in between the 200 Duke and the 390 Duke. The tenth and the last bike in our list is Honda CBR250R. Honda has updated the CBR250R in India. The new Honda CBR250R carries the same styling and silhouette. However, it looks a little more upmarket thanks to the new color scheme and the new graphics on offer. The facelifted CBR250R is now available in four color shades, matte axis gray metallic with Mars orange, matte axis gray metallic with striking green, pearl sports yellow, and sports red. The 2018 Honda CBR250R gets powered by a 249.60cc single-cylinder liquid-cooled, four-stroke, four-valve, DOHC engine mated to a 6-speed rear box. The bike offers PGM fuel injection system and a top speed of 135 kmph. The engine continues to churn out the same 26.15 bhp at 8,500 revolutions per minute, and, a peak torque of 22.9 Nm at 7,000 revolutions per minute. That's all for this video, I will be back soon with new videos. If you find this video informative, please like, share and comment and please don't forget to subscribe.